Often missing from last week's news report, uh, stories were the calls that defined Chen Guangcheng's work and led to his imprisonment. It explains why he's a hero to so many, chi um, to so many in China today. I want to highlight this cause. It is the one that we share with, that we share with Chen through our work at All Girls Allowed. The Wan Chao policy formally sanctions violence against women. Chen knew this. Chinese authorities jailed him in 2006 after he filed a class action lawsuit on behalf of the women who had undergo, uh, undergone forced abortions and sterilizations because of the policy. I would like to share some of, some of the stories and images that will show you what is happening in China right now, even as I speak. I should warn you that these stories are disturbing. They will give you a personal glimpse at the gender side or systematic elimination of girls taking place in China, where men outnumber women by 40 million. They show the brutality of forced abortions. They show why Chinese women face a climate so oppressive that a woman takes her life every three seconds in China. The first story illustrates, illustrates how severely the Wan Chao policy can affect a single family. This is Deng Lurong, the picture you can see on the, um, the PowerPoint on the screen, who lives in Anhui province. She is the second daughter of two parents who violated the Wan Chao policy because they desperately wanted a boy after Lu Rong's birth. So in her family, they had three girls. But after Lu Rong's birth, officials demolished, um, demolished the family home and confiscated their belongings. Two years later, Lu Rong's mother again gave birth to a girl and disappeared three days later. Her father fled from the family planning officials and left the three girls in the care of their grandmother. Undeterred, official detained the girl's grandmother in 2002 and left them without a guardian. During the night, a man broke into their room and raped the 12-year-old Lu Rong. Her sisters managed to obtain the release of their grandmother after this, but the elder woman died a month after she returned home. The rapist, meanwhile, was sentenced to a mere five days in administrative detention. Within three years, Lu Rong was sold as a child bride to a man twice her, of her age. Her sisters were also sold by traffickers and have not been found um, as of today. When a German re, um, reporter and a Chinese volunteers found Lu Rong's father last November, he told them that Lu Rong's husband had turned her into a prostitute to earn income for him. He beats her frequently and sold her body to bachelors in that area. Den, Den, was a poor, Den was in poor mental state. She would roam the mountains for over a week, sometimes before returning to the house. Remember, all of this was set into motion by the enforcement of the one-child policy up, upon this family and the lack of value assigned to girls and women in China. Thank you.